Hello developers, Daniel from Opera here. We've just released a Labs build, that's an experimental version, of Opera Mobile, which includes support for extensions. Now, the way it's been designed is that extensions for desktop should pretty much work as they are on mobile. But if you have an extension and you'd like to test it, I'm going to show you how you can open it and test it on the mobile emulator, so you don't need a, a phone effectively, uh, and also we'll look at debugging if you have any problems. So get yourself a PC, and I'll show you where to get the emulator from, grab your extension, and in the second part we'll look at debugging with Dragonfly, but in this part we'll concentrate on how you open it in developer mode. Right, we need a couple of things before we start. One is the Opera Mobile Emulator, and that's the new Labs build. Another one is obviously an extension. First of all, to get the mobile emulator, we go to dev.opera.com in the Labs section. And if we scroll down this new post here, we can see links both to the Android version of the build and also to desktop versions. Incidentally, the code is exactly the same. It's just packaged for different environments. So grab the one that's right for you. And next, we need an extension. You probably have an extension already that you've uh, made for desktop. But if not, we can get any one from addons.opera.com. Here's one I've prepared earlier. And we go, whoa, three and a half stars. Oh dear, I need to work on that. Anyway, before I do work on that, we'll right click on install and then we can save it locally. And you can do this with any extension that you might want to look at and work out uh, how they're created. So I'm going to save this in a folder I've prepared. That's saved as an OEX file, which is essentially just a zip file renamed. So we can unzip it. You might need to rename it first, depending on your operating system. And now we can have a look at the files inside. Um, a lot of them should be very obvious. We have one or two that are essential for every extension, like config.xml, index.html. In fact, let's have a look at config.xml. This is like a manifest file containing metadata about the extension. Another one that is particularly relevant for um, mobile extensions is the injected script or the user script. So this will actually be executed within pages that we load in the browser. So to see this extension in action, we next need to fire up the mobile emulator. I've got a link here. And we can choose what kind of profile we want, what kind of phone we'd like to emulate, or indeed tablet or whatever. I'm just going to choose the, the default here. And there we have it. The extension that I downloaded incidentally works on Hacker News. So I'm going to load that up, first of all, without the extension installed. OK, regular Hacker News. To install the extension, we go to the menu, the New Extensions button. And we can either, well, first of all, we'll browse to where the, um, the extension folder is. We can either install the package as it is, but if you're developing, I recommend you don't do that. Instead, you go to the config.xml file. And if you do that, you'll have the ability to reload the extension within the browser. So we click on that, and immediately it's installed. Now, if we reload the page, we should see new comments uh, highlighted and new posts highlighted. Perfect. And one little word about testing. If you want to make some changes to the extension, if we make a change to the injected script, we don't need to reload the extension. I'll just demonstrate that. Let's put in a little alert here saying ice cream. Mm, yeah. Right. Made a change to the injected script. If we go back to the mobile emulator, we don't need to reload the extension. We just reload the page. Ice cream. Fantastic. And it works. However, if we make changes to other parts of the extension, such as the background script or, well, let's try this, the config.xml. Change the name ice cream, of course. In this case, we do need to reload the extension. So to do that, we go back to the extensions section here. It's still called HNPC. We'll click on that. And now we'll click on reload. And we can just double check 
that that worked by clicking on the menu extensions button again and indeed the extension is now called ice cream perfect so that's all worked i highly recommend you test in the mobile emulator using different profiles landscape uh, for example or, or keypad um, before you package and submit your extension to addons.opera.com if you'd like further information about how to create an extension we have lots of documentation at dev.opera.com in the add-ons section and they're clicking on the extensions submenu thank you for watching